Over the past decade, the wellness tourism sector has seen explosive growth, valued at over $800 billion in 2022. It is expected to grow at a compound annual rate of over 12% from 2023 to 2030. Our next story is from such wellness retreats. Take a look. With 94% of travelers incorporating self-care into their travels and 59% of them actually opting for solo wellness getaways, wellness tourism is surely thriving. Also, there's been a huge spike in interest for Ayurvedic treatments and therapies. Come, let's explore the world of Ayurveda. So Dr. Tejindra, what kind of Ayurvedic treatments uh, does your retreat possess? Uh, we have different varieties of Ayurveda treatments. The first one is Anandam, that's like Abhinga, full body massage with mm -hmm. different kind of oils, different for head, different for body and even is customized person to person. Second okay. is like a portly massage, we call Ojas here. That's right. like the bolus filled with herbal powder that uh, therapist dip, uh, that, uh, dip that portly in the oil and do massage with that. It's wonderful for pain management issues, someone right. having uh, rejuvenation purpose, it's heating therapy and it's wonderful. Third therapy is uh, Udvartana, okay. that we call here Tapas. It's like a mainly scrubbing massage. Mainly we use different varieties of the powder and along with uh, less amount of oil. So that's mainly for fat burn purpose, weight management purpose and also for skin rejuvenation purpose. Right. So according to your body composition, do you then uh, cater to uh, their treatments using certain herbs and oils? Everything customized according to their prakriti. Oh wow. Yeah. That, so either their, their food, mm -hmm. their morning drinks, night drinks, their oh, wow. therapies, their oil, their herbs, the whatever. It's all it's customized. Yeah. Everything customized. That surely sounds very exciting yeah, exactly. and yeah. uh, in fact I would love to do my body composition analysis if you're up for it. Sure, sure, you're most welcome. Me. I'm thrilled to share that with the help of professional analysis, I've learned my unique body composition or Pratikriya, which is a pivotal step towards optimal health. As I sip on this refreshing detoxification tea, I'm also excited to embrace a diet tailored to my body type and ensuring that I take the best care of myself. Talking about healthy diet, we visited another retreat that gave us an opportunity to delve into yoga and some delicious sattvic food. In this hectic world, making time for rest and rejuvenation is always a great way to reboot. Wellness retreats in India offering a blend of luxury and self-care are a new favorite for travelers. Yoga philosophy emphasizes a profound link between our diet and our state of mind. While modern science struggles to fully grasp these subtleties, the ancient sattvic diet, celebrated for its purity and balance, is believed to be transformative. The sattvic diet is believed to boost energy, foster happiness and bring about a sense of calm and mental clarity. Remarkably, the Mahanarayan Upanishad, dating back to around 5000 BC, suggests that following a sattvic diet could lead to a lifespan of 100 to 150 years. So we have a beautiful uh, table set up here, Nikita. Definitely. Do you see the colors on the table? Yes. <laughs> very, very appetizing. For yeah. Sure. And all fresh and wholesome food, this is. So today we have millet idli. Mm -hmm. Now, why millet? And why not a regular mm -hmm. idli? Because millets are indigenous food of India, I would say. Okay. And they're so wholesome and rich in fiber, which we are missing out majorly from our diets today with mm -hmm. eating so much processed food and then leading to so many digestive disorders, right? But you can have millet khichri mm -hmm. uh, for dinners mm -hmm. and uh, you'll see how your digestion improves, 
we have a special thing on the table too which is called ghee no. the age old <laughs> yeah and popular most yeah and uh, but it's also um, considered to be fattening and right. um, uh, you know not so good mm -hmm. it is a medicinal food also in ayurveda so used for treatments of so many diseases your own body's natural state you should eat and drink your foods so if you meet an ayurvedic uh, consultant or a doctor he'll guide you with your prakriti and your doshas avat pit and kaf so as per these then you will have a diet which is recommended to you as per your seasons that change as per your uh, ages mm -hmm. that change your hormones change great I can't wait to dig in and try out each one of these very colorful and organic locally available ingredients. Absolutely. We we do have a small organic garden here and right. some of the ingredients definitely have come up from there. Great. And coconut is another thing which yeah. I think is the most healing mm. um, food in Ayurveda. Amazing healing properties for the gut for digestion. Can't wait to dig in.